Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to this video specifically. Not a question mark. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, well, uh, the previous day, as you saw that with that aesthetic B-roll little compilation, I went to San Francisco uh, and basically what happens is there's like a little abandoned shipyard and I don't know the context or the situation because it's so strange um but pretty cool artists can rent out these rooms at this abandoned shipyard so it, this place is just like filled with creators and artists and twice a year you can go and you can view uh these studios that they're working in and you can buy the art they sell it out of their studio if you like what you see and yeah previous to that day so previous to previous maybe even previous to that saw the super mario movie was obsessed with the landscapes i wanted to paint it there you see it's princess peach's castle and i thought the animation was so i don't know i thought it was great like it was refreshing to see something so well done like that um and i don't know why i'm speaking like i'm a connoisseur of animated movies but i can definitely appreciate it and so i came out of that movie and i was like I need this landscape. I need a landscape of any sort from this movie as a memento, I guess. So here we are. I'm taking a fraction of that photo that I showed you, and it's mostly focused around Princess Peach's castle. Uh, and I'm gonna paint it in my style. It's not verbatim. Obviously, I don't want to copy it ideally. And uh, I just kind of go from there. So. I'm using oil paint with a little bit of linseed oil. Here you can see that I kind of start working from the darkest darks, which is what you do with oil paint, at least with my not super limited experience, but in what I know. Uh, and from there, you just start building up those darkest darks and you start adding the lightest lights in. And it's just a lot of color blocking until you like what you see. Obviously, I started with a very, very dark violet sky because Bowser is on his way. So, it's gotta be moody. It's gotta be ready. And then from here, I'm just gonna kinda bob and weave out of this video, uh, yeah, until I have something to say. I think adding in these highlights is my favorite part. I mean, I do enjoy color blocking and getting all those base colors on and it's kind of like figuring out the puzzle and the context and concepts and just everything, but being able to highlight is so satisfying and it's kind of brainless because you're like, okay, well, these are my lightest lights. I'm going to go in, I'm going to tinker with it a little bit, alter it until I'm happy and just keep layering until you like what you see. I'm keeping that bottom left corner lighter than the upper right hand corner of the sky. Uh, well, just because Bowser's coming from above. <laughs> so, so I kind of want to have that contrast and gradient going on. And so I'm just slowly adding those lighter colors. I'm blending it out until it's very satisfying. And there you go. I paint with a lot of texture. I don't paint like the hyper realistic, um, landscapes and i've tried i can get there it just takes a little bit longer i just end up almost illustrating I'm, i'd like it's somewhere in between illustrating and fine art i have no idea where i stand but i really enjoy whatever i make you know i think that it's 
I don't know what the word is. Wonderful? Ugh, that sounded super cheesy. Um, it's just enjoyable. Like, it feels so clearly, you know, my style. So, well, I hope you enjoy it too. I hope it puts a smile on your face. And I know you might think, whoa, that was a super bold brushstroke. Don't worry about it. It blends out. <laughs> okay, it's oil paint. It's very forgiving. Uh, as long as you're working in small doses. And again, highlighting. Look how satisfying that is. You're finally starting to see a little bit of character. You're starting to see where that natural light hits. Doing a little tippy tap with the paintbrush. A little swishy swish. I don't, I don't talk like that <laughs> in real life. Maybe I do a little bit. We gotta be a little bit honest here. Anyway, the foreground, that little uh, landscape that I was just working on is gonna be probably the lightest. And then I slowly make certain patches of those back two landscapes uh, lighter, but not consistently. And then from here, I just go in and I add a little bit of green here and there, blend it out. Yeah, it's a whole ordeal. I think if I had more time, because I spent about, honestly, three or four hours on this painting, so it wasn't too long, um, I would go back into the foreground, and I think I would add just a little bit more, um, just because it's not super... I mean, I don't want to say boring, but it could be better. And then I would go back into the background and I would add a little bit more character as well, just so there's a little bit more to look at. This is just a very minimalistic breakdown, really, of that reference photo that I uh, shared. And I always, always paint with a square brush. I like a clean edge. I like the texture that it leaves. And with a square brush, you can create really, really crisp lines, but also be as chaotic as you need to be. And I feel like in the most organized way. Now I have overthought. Yeah, I just, I just overthought because I felt like I needed to give the paintbrush some context. Um, so obviously I overthought why I use it. Oh, there we go. And some super, super blurry, um, <laughs> footage of me creating Princess Peach's castle, which is so frustrating because it turned out so cute and it I, I it was great. It like complimented the whole thing uh, and I didn't mess it up, honestly, which is always a perk, especially when you're painting a geometric thing on top of an organic landscape. So here's some blurry aesthetic fit footage, you know, and basically, I just kind of round out the video with a little bit of floral. Floral? Flowers? Flowers, Hannah. They're flowers. My brain just stopped working. Anyways, <laughs> here's the final, final look. I think it turned out super cute. I love it. I came back from that movie just absolutely hyped. I wanted a little reference to it. And here we go. This is the end. See you next Sunday at 4 p.m. And thanks for tuning in. I think that's totally cool. I'll see you next Sunday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, I'm a YouTuber. Okay, bye.